<laughs> All right, we'll get started with Boston College here. Head coach Mike Gambino, student athletes Barry Walsh and Peter Burns. Uh, coach, we'll start off first with an opening statement. Um, good ball game. Good ball game. I mean, obviously, uh, Virginia Tech's really good. That's uh, it's a scary offense. Those guys at the top have some fun on the guard. Our staff did a really good job um, kind of setting us up. The goal was going to set us up to, to get the leak and row at the end of the game. Um, and you know, Schroeder, Mark, and Nunan did a good job to give us a chance to win that baseball game. Um, everybody's going to talk about Joe Petrano. We're going to talk about Nick Wayne, but um, Barry Walsh changed his game multiple times today. It's not just the ball he hit over the fence, but the one he brought back and, and uh, two other really, really spectacular plays in there. So, um, I'm glad getting into the postseason that the rest of the country is going to get to see how elite of a defender Barry Walsh is. Um, and then the other thing, I think there was a couple of years uh, to get things going. You know, Peter consistently does things that don't end up in the box score. Um, so uh, it was a good win top to bottom. Some of that stuff that's not showing up is uh, what's the difference in the game. Questions? Yeah, down in front to, to Aaron here. Oh, right, right here, yeah. Uh, the players, they're just talking about Barry and Tim, but he's piece out there. Um, I mean, how special is that to watch? And I guess there's some new ones here. Um, yeah, I mean, Barry's an Olympic defender. There's a year or two prior as well. He saw some of the catches he made today. He had a huge impact on the game. and. I said, why I'm playing, and he got work, and I was looking at the umpire, and I was like, wow, I think we got that. Um, he's an awesome person here. Did you bring that one back? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, you feel back. like your pitching staff's where you want it going into Clemson? Well, if you've watched what the lineup has been doing recently, I don't know if anybody's pitching staff is where they want it going up against Clemson right now. Um, but yeah, we're excited about it. I mean, we got you know Flynn, um starting the game, and and we'll have a bunch of our bullpen set up with Joy Ryan and Tangini, and um, so and and, I, and as good as Clemson is, I think we like Flynn against anybody. Right? We'll take our chances. That kid's been unbelievable all year. Um, we're not in the postseason without without Flynn. So as good as they are. I think it's going to be a really, really good baseball game. With and have an Omaha field, I think. I think Clemson's got a real chance to put Omaha and their, their potential national championship contender. Um, and I believe we are as well. So your bullpen usage today was kind of along with your hopes and plans for the game. I'm sorry, I said that one thing I didn't get. It. That your bullpen usage was kind of along with your hopes and plans for the game. Um. We're kind of worried about winning this game first and then pick your head up and see where you are for Friday. You know, we've kind of been talking about it for a while that it's playoff baseball in the ACC, especially down the end. So our bull, you know, the, the loose plan was using these bullpen guys to get us to the leaking shoulder. But number one was winning this baseball game today. I mean, you saw it with Roman going three into the Roman, right? We really thought we had a chance to win the baseball game. So number one. Was win today, um, and you know it's up to the committee to decide. But we feel like when we lose against Clemson, uh, we feel like our resume warrants staying home for regional. You know, and we hope that they agree with me. Uh, this is either one of the players. What what would it mean for you guys to host a regional? Uh, yeah, I mean, it, would, it would mean a lot. I know regional has been hosted. Long time. Um, so for us, it's what we've worked for all year. Uh, we got guys that show up every day. They get everything this team would, would really mean to bring a regional. Awesome. Oh, either way, yeah, go to Mark first. Uh, for any of you, uh, what's made this team so damn good this year? Um, I think we saw today we got guys that show up, they'll do anything this team good. Um, we got 
good leadership on the team, top to bottom. No matter the age of the player, we get guys that will step up and take spot and they really aren't afraid of whoever we're playing, whenever we're playing. So I think that's really helped us to get to where we are. Peter, do you want to take that too? Um, yeah, I think just all year has been just for us. I mean, there's like said, top to bottom, leadership in the culture, and then it's been really huge to our success. I mean, something that Coach Gambino talks about in our career process is, is a brotherhood. I think that it's not going to bug out of it. You know, I want to continue to be actually involved. We all have each other. So it's nice to be here. It's coming out and you have a hunch before the year, it could be a special season. I did. We actually talked about it um, preseason. Um, we knew coming off of last year, last year, the club, had chance, the club had a chance to be pretty good. We took out Peter, we took out Vin really early in the year with injuries and then a couple other ones. We got really young really fast, but we knew that we were getting some guys' experience that was going to help them down the road. That was the first thing. The second thing, um, was with this group coming back, um, you could see how much better the pitching staff was getting in the fall. And then just the feel around these guys, um, every day, all fall, all they cared about, all anybody talked about, um, what is the team doing? Anything that we asked them to do, they did it. Um, and there were days that they were pushing us. There were, there were times I would check in on them and you know, see where their bodies are. And they're like, yeah, we're good. We're good. We don't need a day. We don't need a um, so I think we all as a group believed, uh, and we also know we've said this from day one, the year we go to Omaha, we'll be picked last and early, you know, and the year after we, if we go to Omaha, we'll be picked last and early. It's fine. Um, so we don't, it doesn't bother us what other people around the country say, we care about us. Over to Aaron. One for you, Coach, and then one for Barry, how oh, that you got that straight. Um, <laughs> The the uh, the injuries the last couple of weeks, you know, obviously he's kind of been very not, not being in there, and this team just keeps on obviously finding ways to win and, and score runs. Um, what have you seen out of the, that group where that, that offense kind of continued to come together? There's this belief in this group that it doesn't matter who's on the mound, it doesn't matter who's at the plate, that they're just going to take care of it and get the job done. It's, it's as strong of a belief as I've ever been around. That's the first thing. And they care about each other so much that part of it is like, you know, we know Cam feels terrible not being out there. No Trav feels terrible not being out there. And you guys are like, hey man, take care of take care of your brothers, keep going, get it done. If we're not winning, they're gonna feel bad. The more we keep winning, they're like, yeah, we got you. And they, they talk about it post game. Hey, we got you, boys. And very, you know, going back to the defense piece, I'm curious, I mean. How do you learn to track the ball at an elite level? Like, how do you how do you develop that skill? I mean, for you, what was the key for your you kind of development? Yeah, I mean, I can't give enough credit to the coaching staff, Coach Gambino, um, especially Coach Solly works with us every day, uh, and my teammates for pushing me as far as I can go. Um, and then, just I, we want to win. I want to win. Uh, there's nothing. Uh, I won't do that. I'll ask someone else to do. Um, and that's a big thing on our team. Um, and when it comes down to it, like I said, I'll just, it's, I want to win. That's, um, that's what pushes me so hard. Uh, Develop that. The one you catch you had 13 innings and got against the wall and jumped up. What do you remember about that? Um, not much, honestly. I sure <laughs> I remember going back on it. Um, knew I was gonna have to make a play up against the fence, and luckily I did. Um, that's, that's about all I remember that one. One right behind you, Mark. I believe all three of those plays were made against Brody Young. Uh, is there some sort of frustration? Uh, can you empathize a little bit with the frustration of, uh, you know, three hard hit balls? You know, obviously you want three, but uh, being a baseball player and failure being such a big part of the sport, is there any sort of empathy post game? I think? Yeah, I mean, he's a great player, um, great swings, and I can definitely empathize with where he's been. I've been there. It's not a fun place to be, but yeah, great player. Um, that's off to him. So.
And anything else? Uh, you got behind six to four. Were, were you at all worried at that point? Did you kind of figure, okay, this is a this, this game's going to need need, uh, need some more runs before it's all over? We were you down. You down six to four. Are we worried, or you kind of thought, no, this. Well, when you're facing a team like Virginia Tech, that line that line's unbelievable. We know they got guys from everything. Um, I mean, you don't ever want to be down. So I'm saying this with all due respect to Virginia Tech, feeding off of what I said. Um, last time that we don't care about us, honestly, when this team is down, it doesn't face them. You know, there was a feeling when, when at that spot, guys were walking around like, yeah, we're going to face them. You know, there was, there was no, there was no doubt in our dugout. We felt, and I'm saying that only one about us. It's not a commentary on Virginia Tech and that staff and that pitching staff. It's not about them. It's just the belief that this group has in themselves and in each other that being down six. I mean, you know, we have talked about all year this team response as well as anybody, any group I've ever been around. They respond to things going wrong. And they're kind of used to things going wrong and responding well. And um, things continue to turn out well because of how they respond. Hey, guys. Thank you. Congrats. Thank you all. Appreciate it. Thank you.